To create this design, I am going to add a plane. Rotate this plane into 90 degree. Go to the edit mode. Then add center loop cuts. After that, select these words and scale them along the x-axis. Then select these words and scale them along the x-axis, like this. Then move these words along the z-axis. Go to the object mode, apply the scale. Then select these faces, Shift D to duplicate it. And press P for the selection to make a different object. Take this second object. Select everything and change the transform point, point to 3D cursor and scale down it like this then select this object and shift D to duplicate it and scale it now we have these three variations here select this mid variation and move it along the y axis like this then shift D to duplicate it go to the edit mode and extrude it along the y axis like this now select these two objects and use the boolean operation difference so you will get this kind of cut here apply this boolean modifier and delete this cutter object now scale it down little bit in this way then join these two objects then select these edges and press F to fill the gap select these edges and press F to complete this loop structure now here we have this another object move this object along the y axis now at this point, we are going to add thickness on it. Isolate this object and select this word and press J to connect to vertex path. And here, just create a right topology. Then apply the rotation and select everything, mesh, symmetrize, take the symmetry. We are getting right face loop structure here. That's pretty cool. Now select everything and use the extrude along the normal and add little thickness like this. Turn on this offset even and give the proper thickness in this way. Pretty cool. Now select this object, go to the edit mode, select this center loop cut and add bevel on it. Add two segment bevel and give the proper bevel width. Now select this top edges and extrude them along the Z axis. Then select everything and extrude along the normal like this. Then select these two objects and use the boolean operation difference. So you will get this kind of design. You can see it is looking really well. Then apply the boolean modifier and delete the cutter object. Now select everything, mesh, symmetrize, take the symmetry and delete the one half of the model. Now select these words and press J to connect them. Then you can select these edge loops and you can add bevel on it. Add four segment bevel and give the proper bevel width. Then hit the control 2 to add the subd modifier. Then select these words and press J to connect them. Then select these edge loops with the shift select. Then control B and add bevel on them. Shift factor should be 1 and give the proper bevel width like this. Then add a few loop cuts in this way. Then select these edge loops and add bevel on these edge loops like this. So we will get a pretty sharper edge at there. Then select this edge loop. And control the add bevel on it. In this way. Then select everything and press M. Merge by distance. Share smooth it. And you can see the design. And here I can add a mirror modifier. So my design will look like this. You can see it is looking really well. Just take this mirror modifier to the top of the subd modifier and you can see the design from the inner side. You can see it from the outer side. I can turn on the matte cap view and cavity. And here you need to check the face orientation. Select everything and press Alt N. Recalculate the normal. Now you can see the design I am getting here. It is a pretty simple design, pretty simple modeling technique. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, then hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye bye. So, next video, take care.